Hi, this is Elena Neira. I am the director of online content and I'm here today with uh, Robert Schober. He is the EIC for Transactions in Communications. And um, Robert, tell us about yourself. Hi, I'm Robert Schober. I'm the transaction. I'm the editor in chief for the Transactions on Communications, and um, I'm also professor of electrical and computer engineering at the University of uh, Erlangen Nuremberg in Germany. I got my PhD in 2000, also from the same university. Afterwards, uh, my wife and I we ventured uh, to Canada, and I spent one year in Toronto as a postdoc. Uh, initially, we only wanted to stay for one year, but um, we liked Canada very much, so we spent the next 10 years in beautiful Vancouver, uh, where I was a professor at the University of uh, British Columbia. And in uh, 2012, we finally returned to Germany. My research interests are in the area of uh, wireless communications, uh, in particular massive MIMO, energy harvesting, um, relay networks, and more recently molecular communications. Okay. So I want to talk to you about transaction in communications. It's one of our flagship publications. Tell us what transaction in communications is about. Okay, so the transactions on communications uh, covers a broad range of topics and this is also reflected in our seven uh, editorial areas which are modulation and signal design, uh, wireless communications, optical communications, source channel coding and signal processing, transmission systems, networking and cross-layer design, coding and uh, communication theory. We have about 80 editors on our editor board and each editor is assigned to one of the seven editorial areas and each area is headed by one uh, area editor. We are a monthly journal and we receive about 1,000 submissions per year and in the end um, 300 to 320 papers are accepted and published. Very good. I um, think I'd like to move now to ask you, so with all that fantastic editorial board, with uh, all the submissions, um, what, are, what are your accomplishments as a publication? Uh, why should I read it? Uh, well, I don't know about accomplishments, but uh, the things that I'm proud of is the IGB Transactions on Communications is actually the uh, journal and telecommunications with the richest history. So the first issue appeared already in 1953, and then it was still the transactions of the IRE, Professional Group on Communication Systems. And uh, the, la the names then changed over the years, and now it's uh, transactions in uh, communication on communications <laughs> and um, the things that I'm uh, proud of uh, the journal is our very timely and rigorous review process which uh, both uh, guarantees timeliness and high quality so for example our uh, sub uh, to pub time so the time from the first submission to publication is about 40 weeks and this is among the best values uh, among communications journals and on average authors can expect to get a first response or a first decision in about 10 weeks after submission. Um, that was that was really interesting and with all that history that transaction in communication has, what I want to hear from you, the next point is where are we moving? What is your vision and your strategy for the publication? Yeah, so um, yeah, we, we have all this history and traditionally we've been the only journal, uh, so the only game in town, but uh, this has changed over the years and now there are many specialized uh, journals that uh, focus on specific topics. So I think our advantage is that we are more general, so we can give a forum to new and emerging uh, topics in communications. And so I see us as a champion and um, as a, a sort of an incubator for new topics. Uh, for example, over the past few years, uh, examples for this would be physical layer security, energy harvesting, massive MIMO, optical wireless, and more recently, molecular communication and nano networks. So the way we've championed these topics in the past was we appointed editors with the corresponding expertise, and so authors would know that uh, we solicit papers in this area, but more recently we took a more proactive approach and we started a new initiative on invited papers 
and uh, with these invited papers we try to give a forum to new topics or to topics that are maybe already there but that we think should get more exposure. So the first such uh, invited paper already has appeared. It was on uh, backscatter communications and RFID. We have two more papers in the pipeline, uh, one on energy harvesting, the other one on 5G. And uh, we've solicited uh, another three papers on millimeter waves, um, optical MIMO and massive MIMO. Thank you very much. I want to really stress that these insights you're giving us are a good overview of what the publication is that we hope our audience uh, got a general overview and uh, the information on the rest of this page is to subscribe to learn more about the editors and the publication itself. Thank you very much and uh, we'll see you soon.